Hello, Booktube. Uh, this is a bookshelf tour, bookcase number 11. It's primarily American history. Uh, it's a bit of a mess of a shelf. And um, like the shelf behind me here, it's an IKEA shelf. It's a short section. So I have piles of these books everywhere. So I'm going to try to work through the top, the first shelf on this video and then the other one should be a little easier because then they're just in these box sections here so I'm gonna start off probably lacking a little logic to how they're organized because like I say they are stacked up I'm gonna start off with Sailor Historian the best of Samuel Elliott Morrison who ranks as one of my favorite historians of all time um, this is a 1977 uh, copyright and uh, it is um, Houghton Mifflin in Boston. It's edited by, Ed, uh, by Emily Morrison Beck with a forward by Walter Muir Whitehill and some reflections on style by David McCord. And uh, just one of those wonderful wonderful volumes I, I strongly recommend his writing and you'll see I have quite a bit of it here and uh, if I see something of his I don't have I if it's in good shape I grab it <clears throat> here's another gr a history I thoroughly enjoyed and that Champlain's dream by David Hackett Fisher right here obviously about Samuel D Champlain is the end papers very nice and this is Simon and Schuster in New York and it was uh, 2008 very 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 comprehensive and wonderful book but then we'll go right back to another about Champlain and this again is Samuel A. Morrison and it's Samuel D. Champlain father of New France And papers on this one and uh, this is the An Atlantic Monthly Press book Little Brown and Company Boston and this is the first edition from to two volumes of Samuel Elliott Morrison and again fantastic just wonderful histories the European discovery of America the northern voyages what was this oh <laughs> I forgot about this this is the the Pinta um, which is like a museum quality replica of um, Columbus's ship and then I got a couple others in here I uh, picked these up when I I think that I, I saw the ship in um, Naples Florida so northern voyages AD 500 to 1600 New York, Oxford University Press, 1971. And I just dropped everything. That's all right. And then the companion volume was the European Discovery of America, the Southern Voyages, 1492 to 1616. And this one is New York Oxford University Press 1974 so, um, if you like exploration and all that I cannot recommend these highly enough then um, I think I did this in a book haul this is Don Land Encounters Indians and European and Nor Europeans in Northern New England edited by Colin G. Calloway and that was uh, 
University Press of New England, Hanover and London, 1991. And moving right along, Perry Miller, The Life of the Mind in America, From the Revolution to the Civil War. And Perry Miller was an incredible historian also. Uh, this is Harcourt Brace in World, New York, and this came out in 1965. Um, he had a couple volumes that I'm still looking for. One is The New England Mind, the 17th century, and the other is The New England Mind from Colony to Province. So I, I, I keep searching for Perry Miller's work. Then uh, we have here Arthur M. Schlesinger, Jr., Journals, 1952 uh, to 2000. A well-known historian and uh, political player. Um, let me see here. The Imperial Presidency would have been one that a lot of people know. Uh, his Age of Roosevelt novels, uh, novels, uh, nonfiction books. Robert Kennedy in his times. This is Penguin Press, and this is uh, 2007. He's very involved with the Kennedy administration and all that sort of thing. So here's a sort of a lightning rod figure in some ways. Paul Johnson. It's a history of the American people. Uh, let's see here. This is uh, Harper Collins Publishers in the first U.S. edition of 1997. So it's a survey. Volume here is another Samuel L. Morrison, The Oxford History of the American People without dust jacket. Um, New York, Oxford Univers University Press, 1965. So another one of these big surveys of American history. Pretty nice illustrations. Then, uh, like the Champlain volume before, this is another, I'm gonna move it over there so that it doesn't fall. David Hackett, uh, Hackett Fisher, and another beautiful, beautiful volume. This is Liberty and Freedom, A Visual History of Americans' Founding Ideas. A heavy old beastie thing. Oxford University Press, 2005. Illustrated. Then um, American Heritage as a magazine that was around for years. So this is a sense of history, the best uh, writing from the pages of American Heritage. Uh, this is uh, with an introductory note by Byron Doble, American Heritage, New York, distributed by Houghton Mifflin Company, Boston. This is from 1985. So, um, to give you an idea of some of the articles, The Mound Builders Vanished from the Earth by Robert Silverberg, famous science fiction writer, but he was also famous for an archaeology book on the Mound Builders that was excellent. Um, the Battle of Lake Erie by Richard Snow. Uh, Johnny Appleseed by Edward Hoagland. Uh, I'm just bouncing around all over here. Uh, Why the Money Stopped by John Kenneth Galbraith. LBJ in Vietnam by Larry L. King. Henry Adams in the South Seas by Louis Auchincloch. At Prairie Schooner by George R. Stewart, another writer many book tubers will recognize. Well, there's that. Then because they're all out of order here, and this one had a pile of dust on it because it was on top of the pile. They met at Gettysburg, 40th Anniversary Edition, by General Edward J. Stackpole, prologue by Robert H. Fowler. I'm not a huge Civil War buff. I'm starting to get into it a little more. This was published by Stackpole Books in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And this is 3rd Edition. Oh, you can't really tell. Because the way they have it printed, they have a paperback... Uh, printing of 86 
So I'm going to say this is 6 printing October 69. No, it can't be. That's a very confusing way to do this. Well, the original copyright is 1956, and I can show you the copyright thing. It's a little complex, which tells you that they've kept this in in uh, print. So, there you go. So I just started dipping into this and trying to get a little more into the Civil War. And that will become apparent here. These were my father's, my father's favorites. Um, and, and I'm just starting on these too is a little bit of my reading and again to try to get into the Civil War This is the centennial history of the Civil War. It's in three volumes. It's by Doubleday um, This first one is 1961 So uh, Doubleday, New York uh, Bruce Catton So right here you See the end papers are a map They do have maps throughout, which are important with these battles. Uh, volume 2 is Terrible Swift Sword. Again, none of these have dust jackets. Here's the end papers. Uh, this is from 1963, Double Day and Company, Garden City, New York. And then the third one here is Never Call Retreat. Again, not a very attractive volume. And this was um, uh, Bruce Catton, E.B. Long, Director of Research, Doubleday and Company, Incorporated, Garden City, New York, 1965. So my father was a huge fan of these, so I'm trying to try to get into them a little bit. <clears throat> Another thing I got here, I told you these are in some sort of weird order because of how the shells. These are just piled in stacks on top of the shelf and didn't really have a home. This is My Life by Bill Clinton. And uh, this is a Boar's Eye book published by Alfred A. Knopf, uh, copyright uh, 2004. And then a wonderful book and a wonderful historian. Um, and that's Nathaniel Philbrook. This is the Mayflower, a story of courage, community, and war. This is the book. There's the end papers. And this was uh, Viking. Um, this is the first edition of 2006. Uh, a, a historian I really enjoy. Um, then I have some pamphlets here uh, by Leo Bonfante. Every one of them are, and they're volumes one. Oh, I don't know if you can see this. This is hard to do with this glare. Oh, there we go. Here's one, two, three. Four and five, and these are a series of New England historical series, and they're about uh, New England Indians. So there's that, and then finally for another volume that's not really in its place, dust on it. The story of American cartoons, edited by Tony Husband. This is a very kind gift. Uh, for Christmas um, and this is uh, let's see how this works American, uh, cartoons so Arcturus uh, Holdings Company is the publisher and uh, they don't really don't really give a date so it's fun historical overview of American type cartoons so that's gonna do it for the first shelf of bookcase 11 I did another thing on that shelf was the uh, Library of America set and I did that as a separate video just to move this all along 
keep them reasonably reasonably short. So thank you, Booktube.